I'm Scott Morrison. I'm on the cusp. So I was born in a small community called Morrell in Prince Edward Island. There's about 300 people there, uh, depending on the season. I was the head coach at Lakehead University. We made nationals uh, final eight, four straight years, won an OUA championship. Uh, at the end of my uh, last year at Lakehead, I decided to take a sabbatical and uh, volunteered for a year in the D-League with the Maine Red Claws. I did everything from uh, driving the bus to doing the laundry, picking up clothes off the locker room floor, everything. I learned about analytics, uh, learned about pick and roll, pro style, defense, offense, things like that. And I did a, a research paper on uh, paint threads, which a lot of guys make fun of me for now around the team, but uh, basically I studied every shot that was taken in the D-League that season and uh, charted how they were created and determined that, uh, long story short, when you get the ball in the paint or you put the pressure on the rim, makes your outside shots easier. So the time the NBA was really heading towards a, a three-point and layup analytical attack in terms of offense, and uh, my philosophy kind of fit right in with that. The following year, the Red Claws had a job opening, and the Celtics uh, interviewed me for the position and hired me. During our time there, we won our division three straight seasons. Um, we were the top team in the D-League one of the years, and I was named Coach of the Year one time. You know, I played some games with him in the G League, and you know, it's just how passionate he is, um, how, much, how much you know the game, how much you understand the game, and, and, and just how funny he is. Like, he connect with players outside of basketball. I always joke with him probably more than probably all the coaches. Terry said that? <laughs> Terry's probably one of my favorite players on the team, if not my favorite. He, I think he has a great personality, but also he brings a, a maximum effort every time he steps on the floor. Uh, my second year in Maine, Terry played 18 games with us. And uh, the Stockton brothers uh, kicked his butt every time we played them. So I try to remind him of that whenever I can. He always, you know, if I was playing, like, if I wasn't, you know, taking care of business, he'd let you know that. And, you know, I always respect him for that. I always respect a person like that. And so that just always helped me. And, uh, and it's, just, it's just good to, to see that he's going on the, on the right path. After three years, uh, Coach Stevens and the Celtics decided to call me up to the uh, big club full time and I'll be entering my second season with the Celtics uh, this year. I'm very lucky to work with Coach Stevens. Uh, for one thing, he's uh, a brilliant coach. I learn a lot from him every day. Uh, I like to think I contribute some too, but at the end of the day, I'm getting a lot more out of it than he is uh, in our relationship. Well, I mean, he's been a great coach ever since he joined us and ended up being a, a great hire in the G League for us, and then obviously he's been a great hire on our staff. He provides incredible insights and ideas, and you know, has a, has a great future in this for sure. I'm just trying to keep the same philosophy I, I've had since I started in this business. Uh, when I was first hired, I was 25 years old. I was lucky to have a head job uh, in the CIS, but I also thought I'd be the head coach of the Knicks within three years. I really had no idea what, what was going on uh, and quickly was brought down to size. I try to live by a philosophy of just not resting on what you did before. Uh, I always say if, if you're still thinking about what you did yesterday, you haven't done much today. I would like to be a head coach in the NBA someday, but that might not be possible. There's only 30 jobs available and obviously lots of great candidates that are probably smarter and better than me. But if the opportunity comes up, I'll take it. And until that happens, I'll just keep trying to help whatever team I'm with win. Right now it's the Celtics. We have a great opportunity to compete for a championship and uh, I'm going to make sure that whatever I can do to help, uh, I'll get it done.